All right, we're talking Abington Heights soccer. Uh, Frank Disco with us, the head coach. Uh, another exciting year, right? I mean, let's talk a little bit about a lot of success for this team last year. Uh, and you're you're hoping to kind of keep it going here in 2023. Uh, let's talk about the how you feel last year went and then follow into the, uh, the offseason and seeing some of these guys do some good stuff there too. Uh, last year was definitely a great experience between the, uh, the league season and then the district playoff run. Um, a lot of exciting moments that I kind of look back on and I think going into the season it just uh, helps us kind of set those goals again and, and hopefully replicate some of that success. Let's talk about keeping interest in the program. You feel like yeah, you know you have these guys geared up and ready to go and that they love the game of soccer at Abington? Certainly. Uh, I think the, the love for the game is probably uh, a pretty apparent thing with the program. Um, these guys, as soon as the weather broke for the spring, they're out playing just pickup games over at the park or at the field, um, and they just like to play. Like it's just the evidence. Let's talk about the strength uh, of your team this year. You feel like you're just well balanced all over the field, and that you know continue. Certainly, um, I think we we probably graduated guys that did a lot of uh, defensive work for the team. Um, but we're returning a lot of goal scoring, and we have uh, two fantastic goalkeepers as well that uh, did a great job last year. But as far as uh, the, the you know, guys that just have great motors, you feel like you have guys that are coming into the season in shape and ready to go, as opposed to developing that kind of you know in shape stuff when camp starts. Yeah, you know, a lot of kids nowadays are they're getting ready in the summer and, and getting those miles in, or, or working out, or running around like you're saying. Right, yeah, I think that um, it's not too hard to get back in because they don't really stop, it seems like. Like I said, as soon as the weather breaks around, they're just uh, ready to go. And I think some of these guys are just, even informally, just playing three, four times a week on their own time. So um, hopefully we'll just hit the ground running as the season gets going here. How about leadership-wise? Talk about some of the guys who still need good leadership. Uh, it definitely starts with the senior class that we have this year. Um, we have, I believe it's seven seniors. Um, Cohen Styles is somebody that I think is, is ready, and then the the keepers Nick Slusser and Phil Sykes. We have two. We have a unique situation. We have two pretty fantastic senior goalkeepers, um, Sam Speck, and then there's a few other guys. Uh, but that senior class is, is, I think, pretty ready to set the tone. And then you have some underclassmen that really have some talent as well and play at high levels. Definitely. Yeah, there's uh, there's some guys. We had some underclassmen get significant time last year, and I think they're ready to just kind of um, ramp up and you know pick up some of the, the roles for guys that graduated. And um, But I would say, honestly, yeah, freshmen through seniors, we have guys pretty much in every grade that are, are ready to go. How about the strength? I mean, you mentioned about the keepers and your unique situation. It sounds like you guys are the total package. You have cold scorers, you got that unique goalkeeper situation, you have some defenders. Uh, I mean, we didn't say anything about the midfield, but I'm sure those guys are good. Yeah, and that's where I think the, the midfield had probably the biggest um, contribution from seniors last year as well. Um, so we have guys, though, who graduated a few really talented midfielders, and I feel like we have five or six guys that are ready to try and come in and, and contribute for that as well, which is, which is a good thing to have. Coach, well, great to catch up with you. Hope you have a fantastic season. Awesome. Thank you so much.